Penny Durham. I could tell she was trouble from the moment I met her, but trouble's my business. It's what I do. I'm best at missing person cases, but when the price is right, or the dame is pretty, a missing object case will do just fine. It was a rare white jade figurine from the Ming Dynasty. How it came into her possession is a long story, but how it got stolen was pretty short. There's plenty of wannabes in this town, small time guys, petty thugs that are trying to break into the big time. I had a pretty good idea who might have lucked into a gym like this, so I put out some feelers and paid a few visits to some familiar faces. The case was progressing in the usual fashion for me. What can I say? I'm a charming guy. But then when Frankie O'Donnell kicked the can, I knew I was onto something. I don't like to do things without the cavalry, but sometimes you gotta roll the dice and take your chances. I rolled them, and it was Snake Eyes. Mr. Doyle, I'm pleased you've accepted my invitation. Things must be going pretty bad if you're doing the dirty work on your own. You have made it hazardous for the men I've employed, but ultimately, I must thank you. When Frankie betrayed me, I thought the elephant had slipped through my grasp, but you reclaimed it, and now, you have the courtesy to even deliver it in person. You're wrong there. I already gave that darn figurine back to Penny. Curious. She didn't mention it. Shall we ask her? So if you don't have it, it's a bit of a tricky situation we find ourselves in. All right, Rothschild. You win this time. I always win, Mr. Doyle. The Emperor of China and his silly superstitions are going to make me a very wealthy man. I'll admit though, the one thing I will miss about your country is baseball. Are you a fan? I'd like it if I was the bat and you were the ball. For Miss Durham's sake, I hope that you're the glove and that you can catch. Usually save my pennies in a jar. You traded him the figurine and now he's gotten away? They might have gotten away with the object, but not with what was most important. How did you know? I never told you. You hide things that are important to you in predictable places, Penny Duran. It wasn't surprising to me that your husband's last love letter would end up in your most valuable object. I was afraid to tell you. Thank you. Besides, he might have gotten away with the object, but he's not going to get away from them. Penny Durham got back what she valued, Rothschild got what he deserved, and I got what I had earned. But I didn't get what I wanted. I got 16 ounces of white jade. It might be a priceless treasure, but I'd gladly trade it for a penny. <laughs>